Let's test the, the left. Good. Test the right. Also good. Let's test the both. Good morning! Welcome to video number 44 of me growing out my beard. In the last video, we attempted the quadruple pedal with the drum techs, and it was a complete disaster. Really terrible. But now we have the double duelist pedal. Oh yes. So hopefully with these pedals, we will be able to play epic quadruple bass drum blasts. And I'm also gonna attempt to play Vengeance Rising, the drum set part. This is the most insane blast beat I've ever heard in my life. And yeah, I can probably play it with this if it actually works. But before we get into it, make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. Okay, let's start blasting. Okay, we got the duelist hooked up, and first thing we're gonna do is have Tony G attempt this, because you guys already saw me do the duelist pedal in that other video, so we're gonna give Tony a try here. All right, here we go. Let's see how this goes. I want to go faster. I want to go fast. I want to go fast. Ricky Bobby. I feel like the beaters need to be closer, but that one's touching the head. Try, try to play like, like, digga, 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 digga. <laughs> now imagine that with like double splitting with the quad pedals. That would be the that would most be metal thing ever. Hopefully my left foot could do that. All right, you want to try to do like a, a beat? This makes me feel like I forgot how to drum. <laughs> So it's so much work. Yeah. <laughs> My left foot is moving like this is gonna do something with this pedal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I, I turned it off. <laughs> There we go, I'll just do fills without the bass drum. <laughs> let me know if this feels any better to you. Yeah, let me let me give this bad boy a try here. I feel like I have no power on the, the right beater. Oh, that's like where you had it. Yeah, that feels best. <laughs> I'm just like going and adjusting my hands to whatever is yeah. coming out. <laughs> it, no control of your feet. Yeah. So just for poops and giggles and for comparison, we're gonna also try this other pedal, the drum tech. This is the one that you gotta use your heel to operate the second pedal. It's like the hot 
for a teacher beat. <laughs> Maybe he used this pedal and that's why it sounds like, like a car starting. Honestly though, when we do the quad pedal, I want to try to play the hot for teacher thing. Like the hurt is yeah. the... My foot just doesn't do this motion. You could try the uh, the skateboarding technique where you put your other foot like this. Did you just do like the equivalent of a stick trick? With yeah, the a, ki a kickflip. <laughs> a kickflip, yeah. Yeah, this pedal is not practical. I mean, maybe if you spend like 10 hours a day practicing it for like three years. The only use case I see is there are people who play like double, like some people do the, the stutter step for the, for a double, mm -hmm. but some do a heel. Oh, a heel toe, yeah. That might be great for that type of player. Possibly. I feel like you use like the rebound of the pedal though, like for that kind of technique. And so it's just like two different pedals and it's just like, it makes it different. Okay, drum set tour. We got double duelist pedals on two separate bass drums. Uh, we got the toms kind of set up to the side. Uh, I feel like in an actual like metal drum set there'd be more toms, but well, what are you gonna do about it? Also, the mic I use, uh, I have this uh, the Yamaha EAD 500. Uh, usually it's supposed to go like the top of one bass drum, but since there's two bass drums, uh, then it wouldn't pick up this one. So I'm gonna try to put it here. And I also use that in combination with the uh, the microphone on my camera. All right, here we go. Let's test the left. Good, test the right. Also good, let's test the both. better on this pedal. The right? Yeah, probably because I'm right-footed. And also, I think this pedal feels a little better. Wait, let me try and try cross over. <laughs> can't reach the other pedal. It's like playing tennis. It's <laughs> with your way, though. You don't sweep with your feet. Oh my god, my bass drum chop just got like <laughs> years better. better. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised this is actually working. <laughs> Doubled your speed? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Um, I mean, I'm not playing as fast as I possibly can. drums at all when I play the other drums. I gotta, I gotta play like penis and metal. Ah, oh man. Alright, so I think I, I gotta think of playing like, like flams kind of. Yeah, like Wait, let, me, let me practice that with the If I, if I do that with the one pedal, then I should get uh, almost hurt. It's like the cousin of the hurt. Yeah. Okay. And then if I, if I do single pedal here, double pedal here, then it should be like 
check pattern number, what's that one, seven? Yeah, so it should be like a crappy triplet, and I think that's exactly what I'm getting. Alright, enough exercises and screwing around and working on things, so let's just play. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good mentality, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm ecstatic at how well this is going. <laughs> Alright, I need to let you experience the joy of just step on the thing. It's alright, I'm going to turn it off anyway by acting a hundred, a hundred times. <laughs> It's like so hard to like tell when you're like completely in and like almost in and it's completely out. Yeah, I wish we had like triggers. We need two sets of triggers and also like internal <laughs> earbuds to hear it. It just sounds like a wash, like, yeah. like a buzz roll. <laughs> This whole experiment, I feel like Talladega Nights, like I really don't know what to do with my hands. Like I'm not even playing it, I'm just trying to focus on that and my hands are like... The EMC Duelist Exercise Program. Uh, it's the only Duelist Exercise Program that exists, so make sure you practice it. Uh, first one is Wunny, 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 Wunny. Nailed it! Past level one. Congratulations. Yeah, now I'm thinking of, thinking of, thinking of, thinking of. How to do with singles? Yeah, you're pretty good at like <laughs> <a> double bases. <laughs> Woo! You really died. You just bought the most expensive <laughs> two normal pedals ever. Okay, so I think I'm ready to attempt to cover a Vengeance Rising. Now, there is a couple of problems here that are going to affect this performance. So Vengeance Rising, the very beginning, you don't need the Duelist pedal. I mean, some of this is probably possible on the Duelist, but I think it's better just with regular pedals. Now, these Duelists, they can switch to regular pedals. Uh, you got to hit this thing, which right now they're set to regular, so it's just double and then to get it to the duelist you got to hit over here but in vengeance rising there is one count one beat of rest to get the switch where i want to do it so i would have to do this which is really awkward and makes a lot of noise because because like, <laughs> when you press the thing that left pedal like strikes the drum, and I mean your foot is kind of on there, but it's hard doing it with both feet. But it's okay, I have a great solution.
Okay, we got the quadruple kick drum setup. We got Duelist on the inner two drums. And we got the uh, double bass drum pedal going to the outer drums. This one has a left footed double pedal. This looks familiar. Where have I seen this before? Excellent question, Tony G. This was in the setup of Three Headed Monster, which I did in my junior recital in college. And I am planning on playing all that again, now that I have all this stuff set up exactly the way I need to for that. But first, let's screw around a bit with this new setup. I forget how to play this. Oh, this one's not in dual mode. That's why. That was the problem. That's the only yeah, reason that was it. I messed up. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this one's in single mode too. What the heck? <laughs> I th oh crap, I think I'm hitting the thing when I switch. Ah, uh, you're pulling a me. Yeah, I gotta be really aware of what I'm doing. Foot awareness, here we go. Oh, I could do like chicken in a roll. I do hot for teacher. Let me see if it's possible. Oh no, wait, wait. So Herta is like. And this one should just do. I could do it without working on it at all. When did these pedals come out? I'm wondering like, if, like, if this is what he did. <laughs> I like read somewhere that they like recorded two separate like tapes. I remember your video about it. Yeah, yeah I just didn't know. I was like, that would have worked. Yeah, you should have done it this way. I'm actually finally for realsies ready to do the first ever drum cover using quadruple bass drums. And I guess these are technically octuple bass drum pedals. Cause yeah, there are technically eight of them. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Although I only use a uh, six of them. So yeah, here we go anyways.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it interesting and entertaining. If you did, make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. Thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. If you are able to, please consider going over there to make a donation. It will help the channel out a whole lot. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one. Or this one. I will leave the link for that in the description. And have, have a good, good morning. morning.